Hi, everybody. Welcome to the 41st U.S. Open Nine Ball Championships, coming to you from the Sheraton Norfolk Waterside here in Norfolk, Virginia. This is our first match of this tournament, and before I get, get underway introducing our players, I'd like to take a moment to thank our signature sponsors, Aramith, Simonis, and Diamond, for their longtime support of this event, and also, once again, and express our appreciation to the Sheraton Norfolk Waterside for being our host for the second year and hopefully for many, many more years to come. It's now my pleasure to introduce our two competitors to open things up here for us. Our first player is from Silmar, California. This gentleman is a multiple-time Mexican national champion. We all know him as the best table mechanic in the business and one of the finest gentlemen in our game. Would you kindly welcome Senor Ernesto Dominguez. <clears throat> thank you, thank you very much, everybody. His opponent from Honolulu, Hawaii. He's a 1996 U.S. Open nine ball champion. In just a few short days, he will receive our sport's highest honor by being formally inducted into the Billiard Congress of America Hall of Fame, and we congratulate him on that honor. He's sponsored by Andy Cloth and LastForever.com. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome the Rocket Hall of Famer, Rodney Morris. All right, gentlemen, go ahead and lad for the first break, if you will. This is Rack Your Own, race to 11 with a 40-second shot clock, all ball fouls. It's now my pleasure to send it up to our commentary booth to Pete Fleming and his partner, Ra Hanna. Take it away, guys. Here we go. Uh, pleasure to be here with you, Pete. It's going to be a great show, and I feel quite honored to be here. Ra. Absolutely. All right. Lagging for the break. It looked like Ernesto was going to get there, Pete. It just occurred to me that uh, Rodney Morris won this tournament 20 years ago. So 20 <laughs> años acá. Oh, no. So you think we're going to have a little uh, run around here, right? I'm saying uh, if he did it 20 years ago, he could do it today. <laughs> yeah, Rocket can definitely do it. But the man standing in his way is no joke. No, no right. way. Ernesto Dominguez is one of the best in the business. And I'll put it out there. I think if he wasn't doing tables, he might do a little better. Well, he's been playing, uh, and that's what counts. That you keep keep active, you keep playing, and absolutely. his son's playing, and uh, it turns them, you know, keeps their both their games sharp. Yes, absolutely. No stranger to these guys' games, and Onesco has been playing well, playing on the Mes West State Tour. He's been breaking really well. Mm -hmm. He's told me he's had it. He's added a two-inch extension to the middle of his cue. And he said it's helped him. Uh huh. I I've been noticing that. Right. A lot of players are doing, are doing that. that, right? Yeah. What do you think about that, Pete? Well, uh, I did it uh, 40 years ago. It didn't do anything for me, but it's doing, <laughs> working well for them. All right. Here's the break. And that's a, what a solid break. Ball's tracking. Looks dry. All right. I don't know if he can see the one ball. Can he see? I think he might have well, an edge. No, that's, that's tough. No. Nah. He would have to do some Houdini magic here to get yeah. there. Look at this. All right, I'm not familiar with that rack. What's the, that rack? Is that the... This uh, is the Accu rack. Right. This is... Uh, Chris Renfro? Chris's rack. Yeah, okay. Chris Renfro's rack. Uh, very popular. Uh, the people here love it. All right. Okay, so Ronnie looked like he's going to push. What do you think here, Pete? Push up. Push up. Uh, whatever he decides, I'm going to go with. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay, so he made the seven a little tougher to get to. You'd have right. to have great position for there. I think Anesso's going to thin this ball and put him down here past the 287. I like it. Pretty good call. Hey, thank you. I get lucky sometimes. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Did Rodney get lucky? Can you see any part of it? Well, I think we're going to see Air Rodney. But the problem is that the one is close to the rail, so if he does jump, if he doesn't land full, he can go right off the table. It's a possibility. Absolutely. Well... Rocket said, no hill for a climber. Here I go. Mm -hmm. The benefits of this, he might be able to bank the one down table and keep the rock upstairs. Mm -hmm. Nice hit. That was a good hit. Looks like a double bank. He might get lucky. And yes, he did. I think he better keep that in his hand. Yeah. He got unlucky <laughs> in that he's he stuck with on the two ball now. There you go. He's going to have to jump again, yeah. Yeah. Uh-oh, he's... He chose another weapon, so he's using two different um, jump cues. Mm -hmm. But, uh, wow. well, there's no place to hide here. 
if he's jumping to make this ball, it's going to be an open if it rebounds. It's going to leave him a shot, Pete. Mm -hmm. Yes, it will. Good hit. He might get lucky again. He did. He might get gun. unlucky again. Oh, my God. <laughs> you're calling. You're hitting him right on the head when I mean. <laughs> he wants uh, to do it again. Rock is not going to. He's uh, No what way. Do you think, what do you think, Pete? No way, Jose. You got to go he, one rail here. Can you, oh, one rail in, with the oh, side rail? Long rail? I would say uh, long rail. But okay. If, if it's a, a more natural to do the two rails. So right, under it. the five, right? Yeah. Big style? Yeah. Two in, two one? Yep. Look at that good hit. hit. There good you hit. go. That's good for Rocket. He might get another one. Oh, my <laughs> God. This man is... All right. Good for you, There you Rodney. go. And he leaves Ernesto snookered behind the six ball. All right. So Ernesto has his work cut out for him, right? Uh, does he have a short cue out? I don't he think so. He doesn't yet. I think no. he might try to... And let's see if he juices it up and tries to spin off the long rail to get there. Mm. Or a nice slow spin yeah. to lock him up on the seven. Yeah, speed here. Oh, you can see it. Mm. Surprised. Beautiful. Beautiful shot by Ernesto. Yeah. Rock looking at a one-rail kick to the side pocket, Pete. Mm -hmm. The only thing, he would have to control that cue ball so he can get a shot on the five. The four is next. Oh, the pink four. Sorry yeah. about that. They change up the colors. They've been changing go. colors on go. this. <laughs> <laughs> TV table to fool the commentators. Yeah. Okay. Oh, he missed that. Gave uh, ball in hand to Ernesto. Right. First open opportunity here for Ernesto. Yes. Let's see if he can capitalize here. Any any trouble balls here, Pete? I don't see any problem at all. Vanessa with a good shot here. Do you go to the rail here, Pete? You go one rail and back out to the five? Yeah. yeah. Right. I see some of the young players, they try to hold those balls mm -hmm. and not use the rails. The only problem might be that the eight does not go by the nine in this corner pocket. Okay. So when he pockets the seven, he's going to either... That may be a problem. Okay. Well, it looks like Ernesto's playing the pattern to come straight at the uh, seven ball from yeah. that uh, short rail. Yeah, and if he does, then he could follow it a little bit and have uh, have the eight in the upper two pockets. Let's see what he does. Uh, it's a little funny. A little yeah. funny. Can he kill it with some inside to keep the line? No, I think if he if he can uh, if he can pocket it and just come above the eight, he can still play the eight in the side. Up, he kicked it over. There he He's goes. in good shape. Yeah, he is now. Now he has a natural two rail to come right back to the nine ball. He'll be good here. Actually, three rails. Yep. There, there you is. go. Perfect. I watched this guy play a little bit. Yeah. <laughs> I watched him play when he was uh, his son's age. <laughs> there you you go. know, that's how far we go back. All right. Ernesto looking to draw first blood here, and he does just that. He leads in this match one to zero. And there you go. And that was kind of unfortunate for Rodney, right? Two great jump shots. Oh, yeah. Right? <laughs> Absolutely. And he almost kicked that other ball right in, too. Yeah. You know? Yep, yep. So is this winner rack or is this um, alternate break? No, this is winner breaks. Okay, so we can see some packages. Absolutely. Right. And these are the guys that can do it, you too. You better believe it. It's good to see some uh, some of the fans here. Uh, I see Danny DiLiberto uh, right. out there. He'll be doing commentary this week. Always good to see Danny. Hawaiian Brian sitting up top. Where's that? Is oh, that, yeah. Yes. Yeah, yeah. Amar Kang. There's a bunch of uh, yeah. luminaries in the house. And we, we have a Video of the Month Club member. Dave Gleason and his son are out there right okay. ahead of us. Awesome. Good to see them. It's always good to see the people who support pool. Absolutely. Race to 11. All right, Ernesto Dominguez from Silmar, California. Leads the score one to nothing over Ronnie, the Rock and Mars. In a few days, who will be inducted into the BCA Hall of Fame? All right. Well, they're going to have to figure out the break on this table. Absolutely. And you know who has the break figured out? The Europeans. Uh-huh. Doesn't the surprise Moscone me. Cup. <laughs> and, uh... Not, oh, no. my God. Not in the drink. Rodney right. took a drink. Yes, he did. <laughs> he took a long sip. Uh, oh, he and, didn't like it. Right. So what does Ernesto do here from the two to the three, Pete? 
What do we have here? All right. right. So he's got the two go. There. The two, two there, the three. Mm -hmm. And the four is down right. by that. Four is by the three. Oh. Yeah, it's tough, yeah. tough action here. He's got yeah. a good angle on the three to pro possibly bump the four a down the table. Bit, right? He's going to need it a little bit and give him some room. Right. But he's got to get on, on the two first. Yes, he does. Mm -hmm. Tight shot, looking to roll one rail here. Yeah, he gets two straight. What are you going to do? Oh. Nicely done. Yes, that was. Ernesto looking to gain shape on the four ball. And he does exactly that. He bumps the four into a favorable position. So now he was good. Nice draw shot by Ernesto to get to the five ball. All right, Ernesto with a good shot here to the six ball, possibly two rails back to the seven, or maybe he goes one rail and avoids the other rail. Let's see. Oh, he used the rail. Ernesto is staying down, and he looks comfortable, Pete. Yes, he does. Two balls away from a two-nothing lead. Nice and clean. What Very route nice. do you prefer here, Pete? Uh, do you go yeah. two rails to the inside yes, and come yes, back? Yes, I do. All right. Right in line. That's how I like to do it. Absolutely. The optimum distance so you don't have to worry about yeah. whether you're going to dog that ball. This is about the longest shot that Moscone used to have. But this wow. is about the longest shot he liked. <laughs> nice. Very nice. There you go. Uh, two to zip. There you go. Ernesto. Staying in a uh, good stead, staying down on his shots and looking very formidable right now. Yes. I wonder if he's going to uh, change where he breaks from because the breaks have been, you Absolutely. know, unproductive so far. That's right. And the Rocket has to be thinking, what did I do wrong here? Yeah, he started out uh, very good. Ernesto Dominguez leads Rodney Morris by a score of two to zero, racing to 11. All right, so Ernesto, I guess, moves his bead. Let's see if Ernesto can find a sweet spot because they both have him breaking dry. He put a little, a little bit more on that break. He's going to get the one ball to right. fall. He got rewarded for it. Yes, he did. No pocket, unless Ernesto decides to jump out the window and play a 2-3 combo <laughs> off the six. <laughs> what is he going to do here? Does he have enough? No, he doesn't have enough room to push the two up and to play a safety, correct? Maybe he locks the two behind the three and tries to get up by the eight or something? That might be. He's smart. He's a big player, and that's yeah. really tricky. Yeah. He was playing cue ball there, trying yeah. to just stick the cue ball behind right. the three. Right, he okay. Point. This is Rodney's first open look at the table. Yeah. He had three jump shots, two jump shots and a kick. And I don't want to put the commentator's jinx on him, but uh, I've seen him cut this ball in a thousand times. <laughs> it's not an easy <laughs> shot. <laughs> Maybe we're looking at a thousand and one. And the benefit of that, he'd be coming out to three, correct? Perfect. Nicely done. Make that a thousand and one. Yeah. And now I don't see, I don't see a problem. Right. Nice firm stroke by yes. Rush. Yes, he did not is. baby that ball at all. No way. Looking to get above the nine here. 
Ah, you don't mm. want to be shooting over the seven. Mm -hmm. It's tree topped a little bit. Yeah. The only good thing about it is that the uh, six is open and available. Yeah. You can make it from anywhere on this table. Yeah. Now he's going to use the bridge. Smart man. Good hit. Ooh, yes. Good one. Good one. I think he settled a little bit there. He said, I'm not mm -hmm. really going to try to get shape because the, the six is open. Yeah. Yep, just wanted to avoid that eight. And he's coming right in the line. Don't get unlucky. A little close to his work there. Yeah. Well, maybe Rodney's going to cut this one in for you, Pete. Mm-hmm. And he does just that. Yes, he does. No hesitation in that stroke. Rocket None. just, he fires. That's good speed there. Yes, nicely, nicely. Absolutely. There we go. All right. We got Rodney Morris trails in this match one game to two. And he uh, he was very aggressive in that rack. Yeah, let's see what he does if he changes his break. That's right. He got to watch an SO break twice, so maybe he might have the secret. He went to school, so to speak, and we'll see what happens. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. And there in the in the stands is Ed Ladawi, all dressed up, nice suit right. and tie. Ed Ladawi, Sam Castle Billiards, oh, yeah. Edison, New Jersey. Great pool room. Home of the uh, Simona Serena. Absolutely. And, and uh, now home to the new Chinese eight ball table. Yes. Uh -huh. Joy table. The oh, joy. Yeah, the joy. That, absolutely. And what joy it'll bring if we can win 100,000 first prize. That's How what you they like had it? last year. Qualifier, you win 15,000. Not bad. How you like it? Don't make me get a stroke, Rock. Oh, don't oh, yeah, make AP me get Come there. on, I'll coach you. We can get there together. <laughs> <laughs> All right. All right. Let's, let's see if the Rock... Uh... Well, it seems like the harder break is what's working right now. Yeah. Yeah. And Rodney does have a sledgehammer. Yes, he does. There goes and, the one ball. And he played that one ball. I think he did. Yes, yeah, you saw how easy it went. He played it. He yeah. knows something. Yeah. Excuse me, two balls down, one passed. It's good. All right, Ken Shulman talking about the three ball past the head spring. Yes. Oh, right? And it, if that had not happened, it would have been an illegal break. And then the other person has the option. That's right. You can tell them to shoot or you can take over, correct? Mm-hmm. But uh, he's got a shot on the two ball, and uh, you're gonna have to show a little stroke here. Yeah. And he <laughs> he's pleased as punch to show some stroke there. He needs just making us look good up oh, here. Oh yes. All right. He's got to connect the dots from here if he stays in line. Yeah, he he's right in line there. There you go. I thought Rock was going to go the other way on that yeah, shot. Yeah, right? I did too. I thought he was going to go back and cross plate yes, the side. Yes, and then the six would have been natural. Yeah, now he's got a little work. <laughs> but he did it. Yeah, Rock's feeling good. That's what he needed. He needed to rack like this to get his I know, definitely his agree. mojo working. That's right. A little WD-40 on that stroke. Yes. Get loose. Works wonders. <laughs> <laughs> Rock looking to go. Two rails back on top of the nine. Perfectly done. There you go. And there we have it. Just we, like that. We have a match. Two yes, games apiece. <laughs> two to two. And, uh, you know, his rocket always looks comfortable. He's always loose, but he looks like uh, he's getting the gear ready. Yeah. Well, uh, when you're getting inducted into the Hall of Fame, it's got to give you that extra boost of, uh, I did it, you know, I'm Absolutely. here, I deserve it, uh, I put my 40 years in, that's right. in you know. Yeah, that's right. So congratulations again to yes. Rodney Morris. Yes. Anybody who makes it in the Hall of Fame, you oh. really, you know, that's that's the work. That's the epitome. Absolutely. 
And I think The Rock, you know, he's he's in the running for the Moscone Cup. Oh, yeah. Yeah, he's yes, in there he in is. points. He's up there. Yes, he is. I think it'd be a good— um, so This is important to him. —calming influence on the, on the youngsters, because I think mm -hmm. we have a good— Squad. Oh, I love the squad. Love yeah. the squad. I love the action last year. I yeah. thought we did. Yeah. Beautiful. All right, let's see if Rock plays that one in the side again. Yeah. Mm. Oh, it didn't budge that time. No, and did. the cue found the pocket. It's going to be ball in hand for Ernesto. Mm. But uh, let's see what it looks like out there. Six, Ken, nine. Schumann, Ken Schumann has to use the who diggy. Yeah, he does. So get it out of there. I think he might have to use two. Oh, he's just going to use it for the nine. Mm -hmm. So that he leaves the balls in the exact place. You're right. No guessing. Ken Schumann, the best in the biz, hands oh, down. Oh, yeah. Definitely, definitely. I think he got a little short on it. Too yes, long. yes. It still looks accessible if he comes off the long rail, but uh, he's going to have to land in a little pinpoint position here. Can he do inside English? And yes, he it's did. Like that. That's what he did. Couldn't get down low enough, but that's what he was trying to do. Right. Do you duck here, Pete, or you're looking to shoot? Uh, I duck like crazy. <laughs> <laughs> so you're going to uh, back I'm gonna <laughs> stick. I'm going to stick it right there up against the eight, right? I Roll it right up there. Yep. There you go. Well, he he just put a, a wall of blockers in the way yeah. for the rocket. You can't argue with that. That's right. He might have left him the Anderson window, though. He might have a little bit of it. Wow. That would be fortunate. Yeah. Unfortunate for Ernesto. Well, the rocket didn't shoot yet, so that means something's up. Yes. Rocket looking at a two-rail kick here. This kick is uh, pretty... Accessible. They play this a lot in one pocket. Mm hmm Oh, yeah. Yeah. They play to make it, too. Right. <laughs> exactly. Because the cue ball's going up. Uh, that was uh, a little unfortunate there. Could have got a better roll. Yeah, he, he could have. But he's going to be in the lockdown hotel after this shot. Going to cut this on the side. I think he's going to cut him in jail. No. <laughs> he did the right thing. Yes, he did. He left Rock a little air. He has Rocket has the same path. Mm -hmm. Look at yeah. that hit. Yeah, nice hit. both of these gentlemen came to play today. Oh yeah. Very knowledgeable audience here. Yes. Yeah. A lot of uh, the familiar faces that have been here for years coming here and for years. And that's what we need, and a lot of new faces. So come on down. Little cat and mouse here by Ernesto, mm -hmm. keeping Rodney on his heels. But um, he left them enough, Pete. Yeah, and Matt left on the edge there. Yeah. He's going to go two rail to put up by the chalk. Uh huh. Nicely done. That was beautiful pace by the rock. Yes. A lot of people don't think the rocket plays safe, they think he just shoots. <laughs> but that shows bigger knowledge right there. Right. A little kick and stick. A little Massé shot here. And he hit it. <laughs> oh, what a match we have here. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, you are being treated Absolutely. to the goods here, what I mean. <laughs> and Rocket says, okay, I'm going to have to do it again to you, Nesto. Yeah. And he did. <laughs> oh, my God. He said, come on. And it's just so nonchalant. They both just get up there, made world-class safeties, and other don't guy just let gets Phil, up. Don't let it. Phil Capel get a get a shot of this. What's going on oh, here? Yeah. Because he'll have it in a book. <laughs> Next thing you know, it'll you, be in a book. You better believe it. Phil Capel taught me a lot. And Ernesto says, "Okay, he's uh -huh. tracking toward the pocket, Pete. Oh beat. my he's God, he's tracking toward the pocket, Pete. It was a nice hit. <laughs> oh, Unfortunately, man. he sold out. Yeah." We still have, he still has uh, work. work to do, right? Uh, absolutely. Would you suggest right here, Pete, trying to break that six up? I think I'd have to go, try to go into the nine there. There you go. To free it up, right? You got to yeah, swing, Not hard. Right? I just want to hit it just to 
you know, get some space there. All right, little straight pool style. All right. Oh. Well, guess what? As the gangster would say, dress up, Judy. Mm. Mm. <laughs> the Rock. We know he's gonna. He's looking at that combo. He said, "I'm gonna make this four. See if I can get on that five nine. Yeah, yeah. Oh wow! Going it around. Can he get there? Is there a billiard there? No. Yeah. You know what? He can't it, see it. If he goes to the short stick, he might be able to get it. He jumps to the face of the five, and he's going to wow. do just that. He's going after it. That sounds very Taiwanese. Well, uh, here we go. Almost <laughs> Filipino. I mean, that's really he's doing something here. He's going after it. If he hits the five in the face, he might make this nine ball. Oh. He fired he at it. He called another one. He, he just missed that. Yeah. He, he was very close. Yes, he was. All right. Anesto with a test here. Frozen to the rail. Mm-hmm. Peter, are you shooting this five in the corner? Or would you try to go on the side? Uh, I might have to go on the side. Mm -hmm. that, yeah, that, does that route give you an advantage to the six? Is that why you're shooting it inside? That's exactly why. Okay. But he chose to go down, mm -hmm. and he felt comfortable with the shot. Yes, he, he did, did pocket it, but it's tough on the six now. Yes, it is. Is Ernesto going to swing this bank? I think so. He banked it <laughs> Man. like it had eyes. These, and will he have the speed? Shape. Well, he's got some. He got there. Right? He got there. He's, I think we're noticing a theme here. These guys know how important this is. They're, they're both at full throttle. Absolutely. Beautiful shot by Ernesto. Nicely done. There it is. Incredible. Incredible. Three games to two in favor of Oscar. I mean, Ernesto, Ernesto. Dominguez. That's Oscar right. is his son. Yeah, and Oscar sitting play, there in the stands. And playing great, too. <laughs> sitting yeah. there in the stands. What a great uh, treat that was. And we have the stats on the, on the board here. Okay. It looks like Ernesto... Dominguez is shooting 1,000 for wow. the three games he's played. And Rodney was unfortunate, and, and he's shooting 840. I'd like to be early. unfortunate and shoot at 840. Me too. <laughs> That's their TPA. Wow. Ernesto. And the TPA is the total performance average. Absolutely. It's the accuracy stats. Uh, it's, by, it's the formula by which all great players are measured. Absolutely. I have to tell you this, when Efren Reyes first came over here in uh, 18, 1985, <laughs> seems like 1885, <laughs> but I was at that tournament in Houston. Oh, Pat and Mr. I were there. Cesar Morales? And I was, yes, and I was keeping the Accustats. I was the first person to know quantitatively how good Efren Reyes was. So that must have made you a lot of money. It did. We bought him in Rocky Mountain, North Carolina, in the Calcutta four months later. They <laughs> forgot this guy just beat the whole field, and Pat and I bought him for 400 He snapped it off. Pedro Strickland twice in the finals. And how do you do that? Whew. Play great. All right, and Esso figured out the break. He didn't make the ball that Rodney made, but he's got a good chance here. Yeah, it looks good. One thing I am observing is Ernesto's pace. He's mm -hmm. really being patient on the yeah. ball, staying quite, down. Quite methodical. Yes. And gave it... A little speed he needed. Got a three eight combo. Will that lead to a shot? Now, if he is that three eight, the three he's gonna have to follow that cue ball if he wants a shot on that. Yeah. Three, right. Yeah. Just to control the speed so it doesn't go crazy. You know, How about you duck here, Pete? How about I don't you? like it a little bit. <laughs> right. Well. How about you go uh, shoot th the three to the long rail? Go one two and try to get up here. Where is where he just put his fist? You know, that's a great shunt. It's just uh, beyond me. You know, I just... <laughs> <laughs> but that's what you call an idea. That's what he did. He Ernesto did Dominguez. Yes. He's just, you nice know, call, right? Thank you, sir. Ernesto is just not going to give up any easy balls. You're no. going to have to fight. Absolutely. You're going to have to fight. And the rocket is up to the task. 
You're going one or two here, Pete. Where are we? Two. Two. There you go. And a rock, man. Wow. Yeah. And that's all, again, with a chance to control the table here. Oh, he's going to cut it in and go two rails right past the eight ball. Shoot the four on the side. Yeah. Nice. He Ooh. stroked that ball. He, yeah, he hit it good. Yeah, that's right. The balls always know who's winning. He looks in good shape. Yes, he does. That was a very confident shot right there, yeah. right next to him. He's a little short here, but he's good. Playing very well. Right? Shooting a 969. rails back to the nine ball. Oh, ho, ho. <laughs> Valet parking with tip, Pete. Absolutely. Doubling up. There you go. Four games to two in favor of Ernesto Dominguez. Who's now shooting a 971. 971 is the number. Absolutely. Race to 11. You know, it's, I think it's been the story of this match, the safety play. Yeah. And absolutely. some very aggressive great. shooting, oh, right? Great safety play. Rodney, you know, he can hold his head up high. He's playing well. Yeah. He's not really hasn't had a chance to, uh, to do too much. Absolutely. And that's just keeping him in the seat. He's keeping him in the seat, absolutely. Moving the beat over. Here you go. And he's going to break from about six inches off the spot. I'm the still looking spot. to see if he makes the head ball. Yeah. yeah it looked like he tried to cut I that I think in. he did. All right. But he came up dry. Yes, he did. And Rodney has a shot at the one ball. Right. But uh, there's nothing easy about this. No. Getting on a two to three is not easy. He's Absolutely gotta, not. Got to hit this very, very well. And he does, oh, and he gets, he gets right where he needed to get. <laughs> wow. And that's why he's in the Hall of Fame. Wow. Now. That's a world beater shot yeah, right there. Yes, it was. I think The Rock knows that Ernesto is on his game right now. And, Absolutely. And, and The Rock is playing well. He's just not getting the same opportunities. Exactly. Because Ernesto's keeping him in that chair. Some very stellar play. And The Rock yeah. is picking that pace up. Yep. Looking good now. Yes, he does. I like that he's taking the time to figure that angle out to that uh, seven ball. Once he pockets a five, you know what I mean, the shape from the six Absolutely. to the seven. Yes. Because a lot of times I see the young players take it for granted. They figure they have four hangers, and before you know it, they're out of line. They're out of line. Absolutely. Better fit, though. <laughs> All day. Tightening up the match here. Rodney Morris trails in this game four games to three in this match. And Ernesto shooting a 971. And Rodney shooting an 882. All right. Let's Starting to show some stuff now. Yes, he is. Because that was a great leadoff shot. Because that yes. wasn't an easy no. shot that he had. No there. way. <laughs> he just and got that, up and pumped and it these in. These pockets are not, uh, I mean, two balls do not fit oh, in no. these pockets. That's right. So that was a very difficult shot with the speed he had to hit it with. Absolutely. And the draw he put on it. That was a great shot. Absolutely. 
and we know how diamonds play. You hit that ball bad, it's going to hang up. It's not going in. <laughs> that deep shelf is going to punish oh. you. <laughs> I still have balls hanging on the shelf. I shot last week. Oh, they, won't, they won't let drop. <laughs> nope. All right, let's see. Uh, Rocket's going to play this head ball. Let's yeah. watch Rocket break. Absolutely. I see uh, Oscar Dominguez in the stands there, uh, sitting next to Mike DeShane. Mike DeShane came in fourth in that tournament in Brooklyn. Yeah, he played well. He was yes, he, he was he was coming after. I got to talk yeah. to him a little bit, and that's Daryl Peach, I think, sitting behind him. Yes. Joined by Amar Kang and Hawaiian Bryant. Okay, Rocket to break. Here it is. All right, he, he's six inches on the other side of the spot. That's his spot to break from. Let's watch the side pocket here, ladies. Yep. And he did. He like, played the one ball. He yes, cut it right in. The two ball is hanging. Yes, he did. And, he and he's got it. Yes. Yes, he does. Three ball is on the other side of the nine ball right here. And then it, there doesn't seem to be a problem. <laughs> Can someone in rocket is that legal? He pocketed the ball because oh. it is the three, yeah. <laughs> yeah. three ball pass the head string yeah. rule. Well, he's on his game. I mean, yes, he's, he is. he's not letting anything no, slip by. No, you are exactly right. He has the car in go. He <laughs> wanted to stop it. Yes, he did. To get an angle. Right. And you, now you he's pop still it from got the an angle, but... Right. A little punch shot. A little punch. There you go. He's good. He's good. Good for Rodney is not good for me. <laughs> I got to be about three feet closer. <laughs> I'm saying, look at it, look at this guy, man! Yeah. Incredible. Yeah. Does a nine come into play here if he plays it two rails? No, right? I don't think Does so. Half angle. Okay. I mean, he, it would have to be completely. He would be really unfortunate to get the, have the nine ball get involved here. All right. Beautiful shot. Wow. Yep. And that's why he's in the Hall of Fame. You better believe it. Shooting a 900. He's making his move for sure, Pete. Yes, sir. He does have the speed down. Oof. Four games apiece. <laughs> we got it. Sure. And we're sure. <laughs> 971 for Ernesto and a 907 for Rodney. The train is on the tracks, Pete. Oh, this is some match. And if this break keeps going the way it's been going, he might start to make two balls on the break. Because yeah. both of those balls are tracking to the side pocket. Yeah. Ernesto should pay attention to uh, where Rodney's breaking at. Mm. You know well, that? it looks like the table's playing good enough where they can shoot the 900s. Yes. And uh, it reminds me of a couple of years ago in the finals mm -hmm. when Shane Van Boning and Dennis Orcoyo were in the finals. They both shot over 950, and Shane was the victor. There was no Incredible. stopping him. No. Incredible. No. Increíble. <laughs> you better believe that. All right. The Rock. Okay. He missed the... Uh, here goes the eight. One by the eight, and the two's tracking. And can it bounce? He Look looks at good. this layout. He looks good. I'd like to buy this for a dollar. Yeah. Stop shot by Rodney. Mm hmm Once again, no real problems here. He nice. just has to stay in line, and he'll be in good stead. All right. A little funny. It's a yeah. little funny there. Is he going to go up to the five and yeah. swing it back around? He's going to go three rails. He's got to mm -hmm. get on this four. He's going right. to go three rails. There you go. One, right. two, three. He'd like a little something. Oh. Don't want to be too straight, but. We're going to see a good shot here. He needs yeah. some angle. Yeah, he really did. Boy, he can shoot. <laughs> that shot might have looked Ooh, easy, but that it was, was not easy. That's right. He just loaded it up. Yeah. Bad 
Back and forth. He's feeling it. His speed is impeccable right now. Oh, wow. He's in danger of taking the lead. Yes, he is. For the first time in this match. Rodney the Rocket. There it is. <laughs> Five games to four. Wow. Rodney is in the lead. Shooting a 923. Ernesto shooting a 971. And Ernesto did nothing wrong. No. The Rocket will not be denied. Good to see them both playing well. That's exactly that's what, what we I was came, That's what we came to Absolutely. see. Absolutely. Pool is winning. Great yeah. pool is winning. Absolutely. And you know, I'm so anxious. I want to talk about this shot clock, but it never comes up. No. <laughs> <laughs> I forgot we had the shot clock, but we do, ladies and gentlemen. We have the shot clock. Absolutely. Two Made ball. Two ball. Oh, no. Oh, my unfortunate. Unfortunate was kicked in. Yeah. Didn't deserve that. But that's Paul. All right. I, I've noticed that when, you know, when he made those side balls, that, that other ball does track toward that corner. Mm hmm He just had to control the rock. Ernesto with a, a chance to uh, catch the rock here. Make it 5-5. Five, five. Yeah. And he's just playing the natural angles. He just looks so smooth. Yes. You play this above the side pocket with the cue ball, or do you go down below? That that pocket is big. Okay. From that angle, it's really big. It, whatever he feels comfortable doing, I'm with him. Okay. I'm good with that. Because the angle leads to the six? Yeah. And he came up a little short. Mm hmm But he, he wanted to avoid that side pocket. Yes, no, he did. Of course. Nope. Overcut it. the cheese. Yeah. And that's the first ball Ernesto missed. Yes. Match. Yes. He got out of line a little bit. Yes, he did. A tough shot. And that's what happens, you know. You, you play a shot and, you know, you don't fully maximize his potential. You come up a little short. Mm hmm Rodney's going to have to let one loose here. Oh, boy, oh, boy. Those diamonds will punish you. All right. Mm. Got nice on that. Yes, he sure did. He looked like Rodney on that shot. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It looks like a little short there. Hey, right. that's two shots in a row. Mm -hmm. A little tentative by Ernesto. Yeah, yeah. He wants to stay in this match. He, you know, he's looking to cut this in and go yeah. back and forth, Pete. Yeah. Overcut the cheese again? No, again. he got he it. He got it that What time. a shot. You got to give him credit. <laughs> that was some shot. And he's going to have to make another one, Pete. Yeah. Make it, he mm. does. He Man. looks about perfect here. Look, six don't, pockets. Don't jinx him. Six pockets. Well, he got on the 50-yard <laughs> line. All right, so we're either going to see the razor blade here. He yeah. Back cut it in the corner, let the rock loose. Yep. You see just a little bit of low left English dragging it right out of there. And he can leave the rock safe, too. Yep. Yeah, yep. good shot by yeah, Ernesto. Nicely done. <laughs> nice recovery. Yes. Five games apiece. In this race to 11, 41st U.S. Open Nine Ball Championships from Norfolk, Virginia. Nesto Dominguez and Rodney Morris in a heavyweight title bout here. Oh, yes. Opening up. We're just opening up the show here. <laughs> it's just going to get better. Absolutely. No doubt in my mind. You better believe it. 
The next match on this TV table is uh, the young man from Poland who snapped off the Gotham City Classic oh last week. So we're going to look forward to seeing him play there. <laughs> All right. Let's see if Ernesto adjusts on this break. Mm -hmm. Stayed on the table. Yeah, he, he got a little lucky. But they're hitting it a little bit harder. He, yeah. Uh, I guess that, you know, three balls past the head string, you know. That's you, right. You, you can't Corey duel the balls. Don't. Can't do it. <laughs> <laughs> Rock with a tough shot here. Yes. Nicely struck. And look at that. He's rewarded. Yeah. Well, that was the only good part about that shot is he didn't have to do anything but make the ball. And he had a natural position. That allows you to be a little looser, a little freer. Exactly. You just concentrate on one thing, correct, Pete? Exactly. And nice angle to get over for the four. That's the out of rock places. <laughs> Just perfect. <laughs> That's, he's he's feeling it. He's, he's feeling, feeling it. Yeah, because yes, his speed is. right now is incredible. Yes, it is. He doesn't want to get flat on his six ball. He needs a good angle. Absolutely. And even if he would have got a little janky there, he still could have juiced it up to get back. Mm -hmm. Well, I hope the people in the villages, the villages of Florida, are enjoying this uh, broadcast. want to say to hi to everyone down there. You know, in the villages, we have a, a community with 140 nine-foot pool tables in this community. And, That's uh, pretty nice. Leagues every day and every night. I'm going to move down there with you. Oh, it's a great spot. I recommend it to everyone. There you go. I never leave. This was special. That's why I came here today. <laughs> well, I'm glad you're here today. Yeah. But glad. hi to uh, Rocco and uh, Vince, Billy Bonnage, BOM members. Hi to you guys. Yeah, and Rodney. Rodney's just... Bad effect, though. Meh. He is feeling it. Yes, he is. Good shooter. Good shooter. And the score is? Six to five. Six to five. My favorite Rodney. Rodney Morris. And this rack is going back and forth. The tail of the break and the safes. And some incredible shot making on both sides. Both shooting over 900. 932 for Ernesto. 905 for Rodney. And a 932, that's not too shabby for someone who uh, probably did like 30 tables before he got here. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. One of the hardest working men in the business. Oh, yeah. And the place is filling up here. Yes, it is. Oh, we. They all went to the pocket. Nobody went in. No. At least the cue ball didn't go in this time. That's right, but he left the nest over shot here. This has the feelings of like a, a semifinals or, or finals, like how tough this match it's is. The first match right? of the tournament. Unbelievable, <laughs> isn't it? We've been blessed. Yes. Mm, cut nicely. Yes. Good shape. Got a nice angle. I know it's premature, but what do you think about that 7 to the 8? Would you need to be either higher or lower than where he is right now to play a good shot? From I think he's got to be about right there where the cue ball is. Right. Okay. Now let's see if he works backwards and gets there. Yeah. Yep, he got good. Yes, he did. 
just want to softly play this in the corner and play the five in the side and have a nice angle on the six to get back up for the seven. Ooh, this is the danger. That's it. That's oh, it. Nobody could believe that. Right. There was nothing difficult about that shot. Right. Now, what happens in, in that in that uh, time span, Pete? You are you are a professional player. What what goes through your mind right there? Well, uh, blank. You go absolutely blank. <laughs> you want to shoot yourself, and then you think about it, and it's not worth it. Just don't do it. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, poor Ernest. It's just a little lapse of concentration yes. right there. Yes, yes, that's all it was. Yep. Now let's see if Rodney gets a, the angle that uh, Pete said to play it to seven to the eight. Well, he's got some uh, little bit of angle. Yeah. He can do whatever he wants. And that's what he wanted to do. Once again, the rocket is right in line. Right in line. Looking to take a two-game lead. And he does. Yes. yes, he does. Rodney Morris leads seven game to five. Seven games to five in this race to 11. First match here being streamed from the U.S. Open Championships in Norfolk, Virginia. I'm Pete Fleming along with... This is Ra Hanna. Aaron... We're doing our best. Absolutely. I'm I'm glad to be here. Here's this track, the rock track, Rob. There you go. And that'll keep you abreast of what's going on two, in the match. Two, four, two. Rod Morris with three in a row. Yeah, putting three together there. And uh, Ernesto's sipping water, which is good. Keep yourself hydrated. Exactly. And keep your mind right. It's important. You'll see all the pro players, the top pro players, they got the water right there. Well, it was a good crack. It sure was. But that's all it was. I think when he was making the balls, he <laughs> when he made the balls on the break, he gave it a little more pop. It was an illegal hard, break. Right? Mm -hmm. He called an illegal break. That's right. Well, that's our first illegal break of the tournament. Absolutely. I didn't and we were here to see it. Yep. Vanessa's feeling fortunate right now. I guess. Ooh, that was something. He's straightened that ball right out, but he's. I was. <laughs> that was very tricky there. He's in trouble. He's, he's in trouble. Yeah, I didn't. Right? Yeah. Hmm? Yes, he is. He's gonna need a nice control kick here. Gonna put the two down table. Wow. Oh, uh, he's wow. quite fortunate on that shot. <laughs> I thought. Nesta must have a get out of jail free card in. Yeah. Ronnie doesn't even hesitate oh, to well and puts him back yeah. down the table, but it's just going to bounce out a little bit here. Yeah, he's got a shot. All right. Oh, he missed it completely. Wow. Right. Yeah. I saw him. He loaded up with a lot of a he lot of English, right? Yes. And apparently, all that loading up and the speed he hit it with mm -hmm. pushed the cue ball yes, slightly yes, and just did. missed he it. Pushed it off the line. And uh, Rock is looking to go to work right here. Let that stroke out a little too much there, but he's still he's still good. He can recover here. Very nice shot by yep. Rocket. Yep. He keeps natural angles when he can. Yes, he does.
All right, Rocket looking to play the seven in the side to play the eight in the corner. He's making it look easy, Pete. He makes it look easy, but these, <laughs> these aren't as easy as it looks. Reminds me of you back in your day, Pete. Yeah. Extends the lead. Absolutely, Eight he does. Games to five, and the TPA shows it. Nine twenty-two. Rodney's shooting a nine twenty-two. That's Hall of Fame status right there, Absolutely. boys. Absolutely. Ernesto with two unforced errors in yes. that rack. Quite uh, unfortunate. Eight, right? Quite unfortunate. Yes. And Rodney stepped up and charged him. Mm -hmm. He made that mistake, and Rodney just oh. jumped right on him to increase his lead. There's Eight. Pat Fleming, the man, the myth, the legend. There he is. That's always working. Oof. I see Ronnie come back to form. You see, he hit that one a little more succinctly. Yeah. But unfortunately, he came up dry. Right. Big opportunity for Ernesto oh, Dominguez this is right it. here. This is it. After uh, what he's been through, Yes. he's got to feel good about this. Yes. At least he can he can play a little bit here. Right. Look for Ernesto to bear down and I was going to say, he didn't waste any time getting that line. No, yeah, that was the first really, shot right there. Come on. Yeah, I thought Ernesto would. Uh, really? You know. That was his chance. Yes, it was. Because the Rock is not going to give you a lot of chances. No. No. Maybe Rock plays a little two-way here. Look at that. Yeah. yeah. He, he just, just played the, the pressure cue ball. On him, right? He played cue ball. Yeah. And the pressure is on. Absolutely. He put the balls into a position where it's easier for him to run, but Ernesto's going to hit this ball. Yeah. And almost made it. What does he leave? Nothing easy. But for the rocket, he's looking at it straight into the Of course, we're, we're speaking as human beings. <laughs> Rodney can make it. We're saying nothing easy, but yeah. you don't know. Rodney is. No. Rodney's a beast. He could do it. And he played cue ball. Wow. And the ball rolled out a little bit. A little bit. All right. And I have to masse this, I believe. You like the masse? I think he does because he's, he can do the masse. Right. I can't. Yeah, control. I know. If this was one of them young guns, they'd jump this ball. Yeah. They, they're just looking at the edge right here. Yeah. Pop it right in it, and the shape's natural. Yeah. That's so looking to spin this ball in. Yes, he is. And he did. And he got right on the three. Yeah, he brings him over to the four. He can do uh, a variety of things. Right. He can defend himself in that position. You mean. Mm hmm Nicely done. What a beautiful shot can that was. Can he get was. on the right side? Yeah. <laughs> now, at that juncture in the game, that was a, that was a, a brave shot because he sells out there. It's over. Nicely hit. And he does have an angle to go yes, he to. Yes, does. Get back over there for the six. Just got to avoid hitting the seven. He doesn't want to. Right, because then he'll be stuck. But if he gets to the second diamond, he should be okay. He did. Yes, he did. And he hit the six. Just as good. <laughs> Just <laughs> as good. Now, Pete, he, he might have played that shot, huh? Yeah, I do believe. Okay. Shot. Incredible. Yeah, he had a better ch chance, odd wise, of hitting that ball no matter what happened than trying to get on it. Yes. From his angle. So, and a good shot there. Will he get good? I think he got perfect. Yes. 
I think this rack is reminiscent of the rack where Rodney was behind it. He got up and just fired everything in. I think mm -hmm. Ernesto just took that same approach. Mm -hmm. As my mentor, uh, Howard Bell, would say, no hill for a climber. <laughs> <laughs> Ernesto, Ernesto Dominguez trails in this match. Eight games to six. Right. Rodney Morris shooting a 9-10. Ernesto shooting an 871. And he needed that game. He certainly did. He needed that game because the rocket was rolling. Rocket fouled on the break mm -hmm. and turned the game over to Ernesto. Rock looking focused. Ernesto has been making the balls, but it has not been as uh, fluid as the rock. Okay, let's see what he does. He's a little closer to the center. Yes, he did. He moved over. Let's see if he gets rewarded. And he hit it on the nose. That hasn't really been working. I don't know. No. What. He tried it. Yes, he did. I think he's in. Where the rock was breaking the first time, that's what was doing it. Mm -hmm. Well, the four it seems to be blocked by the eight going mm -hmm. in the upper pocket. So, wow, there's work to do here in this rack. Yes, there is. Out about it. That's one of, if you can call it lazy, that's one of the lazy balls I just saw the mm -hmm. rocket hit because he's yeah. been on point. Right. But like you said, Pete, there's still a lot of work in this rack to do. Mm -hmm. Oh, this pocket is rejecting the last two shots. Wow. Now, there is no more problem for the four ball. Absolutely. And the key here is getting on the two ball. If you can play the two, make the one, mm -hmm. come to around the center of the table, right. and play the two ball on the side, then he's got the three, and it's a game over. Okay. I think he listened to you, Pete. Well, he got in the vicinity out there. <laughs> <laughs> yes, he did. He's a little straight, so... Oh, oh, my God. He used the seven. Yes, he did. Used the whole pocket there. He needed an angle to get over for the four. He knew that. Absolutely. Uh-oh. Oh, oh, oh. Things don't look good for Ernesto. No. Rocks, rocks right back on the track here. And uh, once again, I'm going to say I like, I've seen Rodney play a lot, but I like when he goes and just checks his angle. You know? Mm -hmm. I yep. know you've been doing it for years, but... It's nothing like reinforce it where you need to go with that cue ball. Absolutely. It's good to get into the good routine. Yes. And not to get overconfident and hurt yourself. Yes, act like you've been there. Been to the dance already, but you still have to take the proper steps. Mm -hmm. Oh, 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 oh. Because he wanted to hold it because he needed an angle from that 78, yes. Pete. Precisely. And I think this the this rack right here, they've been both off their game on this rack, particularly. Mm -hmm. Because yeah. I don't think there's been more than uh, a miss or two in one rack since yeah. we've been watching. Yeah. Is he straight on this? Yeah. He's going to have to do a little something here. But if he gets uh, approximately back where he's at, he can pop the 8 in the corner. Yeah, yeah. Just that after uh, missing a couple of bulls, you're not so comfortable on the draw shot That's here. That's exactly you know? right. But draw the pocket. with the professionals, they if they miss, they wipe it right out of their memory banks and they get yep. up there and do what they need to do. Yep. And that was nicely done. How about that? That was the way to do it. Took a little bit of confidence <laughs> to hit that ball. Yes, like it was. That. that was beautiful. What a great recovery shot by yep. Ernesto Dominguez. Yep.
Well, he's climbing back into the match. Yes, he is. It could have been 9-6, but it's not. All right. Trails in the match, eight games to seven. Ernesto Dominguez with the break, shooting an 8-53, as opposed to Rodney Morris shooting an 8-74. And this is more human type T TPAs here. You know, exactly. They're shooting 900 for the majority of the match, and mm -hmm. I, I think they will both get back to it, but right now, you know, a little human element uh, yep. snuck in. Yep. Rodney with the higher TPA and leading. Yep. And we are at the Sheraton Waterside in Norfolk, Virginia. That's Having a great time. Absolutely. I'm so Looking honored to be here. Looking forward to a great week. Oh, man. This is, this is great. All right, Ernesto, you're going to have to figure this break out. Let's see if he, if he moves over, if he adjusts. Yep. Yes, he did. He made a big he, adjustment. All he, right. Let's see if he can get that ball to fall on the side. All right. Well, he cut, did the cut break. Yes, he did. But it didn't go. Is that a... Uh, that was a good break. Yeah, because um, the well, ball that came down and snookered him went three rails and came down. Went three down rails there. and yeah. came down. Yes. And there's still two, two balls above the spot. So that was a legitimate break. I better Ernesto wish that eight ball didn't fall because <laughs> Rodney be pushing here. Yeah. Now he's got to push. Where do you push to? Push I don't know. Me, maybe I try to tie a ball up, put a ball in a place unaccessible, maybe shoot the six toward the one or something. I don't know. Not much he could have done there. It right? wasn't like he could have locked him up somehow. Exactly. Uh, he had to leave him something. Yeah. This is what he's got. Is he going to swing? All right. He played safe all the way. Yeah. Playing cue ball and did a nice job. Yes, he did. Nice controlled kick there by Ernesto. Yes. But he's There's no pocket for it. Right. But he can go well, send the one ball back up table, mm -hmm. put the cue behind the three. Uh, more than nine. What's the danger there on that shot? I don't see any danger. Okay. But he chose to play differently. And he, got and, and he got there. Now, the thing is, they say when the, you leave the object ball by the rail, it makes the ball bigger for somebody to kick at. Absolutely. Right? Okay. That's why yeah, I couldn't believe he played that shot that right. way. But what's he going, point, point? Is he, he, he's really digging in here. He hit it. Yes, he did. And it was a good hit. He left nothing. <laughs> Man. Nothing but a shadow. We well, are can getting see, treated. You can yeah. see the ball, but uh, really. Well, a rocket can see it. Yeah. <laughs> that makes it dangerous, so. Yeah. But he's going to have to duck here. And he did. Duck, he did. Just leaked out on him. And I still would a chance to control the game here again, yeah. but this is going to have to be a nice... A lot, of, a lot of a lot of less than professional players, say amateur players, mm -hmm. wouldn't hesitate to pop the nine at this point, and I don't, <laughs> I wouldn't blame them. You but this is professional. This is you the, give a swing. This is the, the U.S. Cheese, Open Pete? nine ball championship. I just want to <laughs> let people know why he's not going for the nine at this Absolutely. point. Absolutely, just can't take the chance of selling out. That's right. If he can fit the top of this, he might. I don't know. The one's going to track down this way, too. Mm -hmm. But if he brings the, the, the rock down, he might get under that three ball. Yeah. Or just cut it right in the pocket. Ooh, wee. That mm -hmm. was tough. That was yeah. a sellout, though. He sold yeah, out. Yeah, that's, that's, that's going to hurt. Mm -hmm. 
And the four ball mm -hmm. is close to the nine ball here. So he needs a little angle to get off. Unless he plays the four ball up table. Correct. He has a good angle. He's in control here. Oh, yeah. You got a nice, so, yeah, nice angle there. A good angle for the rock to get back. Mm -hmm. Oh boy! Oh, boxed it. He boxed it. Mm. He thought he hit it pretty good. We thought he hit it good. Yes, he did. Didn't go. He gave an SO life preserver here. Yep. Now this ball is deep in the pocket. What do you you go rail first? It's deep in the pocket. These are not <laughs> as easy as it seems. Uh huh. And he did go ball first. He came up empty. Right. That's why I was saying, do you go yeah. rail first here, Pete? I usually go rail first and miss the ball completely. You know? <laughs> Here's the bank. It's a one pocket bank. Vanessa from Kentucky? Nicely. Whoa! <laughs> I didn't know Vanessa was from yeah, Kentucky. Yeah, that is the Kentucky. <laughs> that ball real good. Nicely struck. A very nice hit. And guess what? It's possible that this game, at the end of this game right here, it could be eight to eight. Treated to world-class pool here. And a few minutes ago, it looked like it was going to be 9-6. That's right. It looked like it was going to be over. Yeah. Wow, there, there it is. There we go. A race eight to three. three. Eight games apiece. Race to three. And the TPA proves it. Yeah. Morris shooting at 859, and Mr. Dominguez is shooting at 853. How close can you get? Okay. We're back. That's Desiree, Ernesto Dominguez, and Rodney Morris tied at 8-8 eight, eight here, racing to three. Racing to three. They're both smiling, so they're in good spirits, <laughs> and uh, they want to win this match. Absolutely. All right, Ernesto has the slight advantage in that he has to break first in this race to three. That's right. Let's see if he figured it out. He moved back in a little bit. Three balls past the head string. All right. He got him. Yeah, he got him. But he's left Rocket wide open. All right, it's not an easy shot, but he can see it. <laughs> well, uh, it's like you said, Pete, I'm still your line. For us humans, it's mm -hmm. difficult. For Rocket, it's a hanger. <laughs> Well, if he plays it in the side, he's got a, an angle to get over for the two. If, if he plays it in the corner, who knows? Right. Played in the corner. Yes, he did. He knew. That's who knows. <laughs> <laughs> no, he was listening to you, Pete. Okay. So the three is open and available. He's looking at that 4-7 uh, mm -hmm. combination. Yeah, how's it look? Lined up? It's I not, think it's not lined it's up. It's not wired, right. but it's close. If he gets on the correct line, I think he can push the ball to the hole and lead the forward air for, for position. Because yeah. if he gets out of line, that four is going towards the nine, correct? Yeah. Well, he may go, try to come down to play that four on the lower right-hand side. Yeah. No, he didn't. He, yeah. He got the right angle. Yes, he did. He's on. Yeah. He got good on it. Stun here. Perfectly. That was got beautiful. It. That was beautiful. Because it's easy to let that ball get away from you. Absolutely. Straight pool players play those shots really well. Mm -hmm. They're not afraid of combinations. They no. control both balls. Yep. Rodney looking in dead punch now. Yes, he is. Trying to 
reclaim the, the form of the first racks yeah. where they played flawless. Great shot there by the Rocket. Perfect. And he's in line. One railing back. Good. There you go. I see a lot of amateurs try to hold that ball up. Mm -hmm. You know, they baby the ball and get it. out of line. Yeah. Well done. There you go. Rodney nice. Morris. He eight needs to. Lead. Nine games to eight. And PPA wise, shooting an 871. Ernesto shooting 853. And we are live from the Akistas Arena from the Sheraton Waterside, Norfolk, in Norfolk, VA. This is Raw Hannah joined by the legendary Pete Fleming. Ha! Thank you, man. There you go. Rodney was breaking well in the beginning of this match. Mm hmm. Let's see if he can get back to that form. Where does he put the cue here? I think it's there he is, about six inches west. And, and there goes that one ball. He played it. He's, he's, it might be the speed which is keeping it out. Yeah. Well, he came up dry. Yes, he did. He's saying it was an illegal break. He said it was illegal. Well, it looked like he hit them good enough, but yes, it he did. turned out to be an illegal break. And it, I think when this is I don't think uh, back. I don't know uh, if I like that rule at all. Uh, only because you really don't have any control over it. You know, you right. hit them hard and three balls don't go well, by. It seems. Uh, well, you know, it stops the pattern racking soft break. I guess. Right. I think two balls would stop the pattern racking <laughs> soft break. I don't think it well, has to be three. You well, know? he has to get three past the head for it to be a legal break. Well, Ken Schumann was right on it. Yes, he was. As usual. Came all the way here from Rockland, California. Placer County. And what's the dilemma here, Pete? Why doesn't why did Ernesto just cut this too well in the side and let the rock swing around? Oh, boy. It looked like he played a Pete Fleming shot and went for the nine. I'll tell you the truth. <laughs> Don't learn from me. Don't try to do what I do. You think Ernesto went for the cheese there? <laughs> I think he did. All right. Rocket with a jump shot here. Good hit. Good hit. And he puts Ernesto back in jail. And he was rewarded just for the good hit. Yes, he was. Can I also uh, spin off the end rail to clip this uh, one ball? This is tough. What do you like here, Pete? Um, I have to say, I, that's the way I'd like it to come mm -hmm. down here, right past the two towards the center of the table, right. a little left and end loose. Just try to spin it. And uh, medium speed, try to make some separation right. and hopefully get lucky. But it looks like Ernesto is going to jump the edge he's of his going, five ball. Yeah, he's going over. The problem's here. If he fouls, he's going to leave the rocket. He had a nice hit. Yes, he did. That was solid. And, uh, oh, boy. Unfortunately, he sold out. Yes, he did. Not another, not another ball touching another ball. Yeah. Or blocking a pocket. So, you know. Rocket doesn't Ooh, hesitate. He didn't hesitate. He gave it a stroke. <laughs> Believe me, he got perfect on it. That was... <laughs> he whacked it out. Yes, he did. And like you said, there was no hesitation there. No, no. A little stunner to avoid the seven, or you run into it? He avoided yeah. it. He, he had about as much hesitation as Babe Ruth when he pointed to the center stands. <laughs> home, home run gun. All right. Are you going two rails where he is back to the four, or do you draw this ball? 
I gotta draw this ball. Okay. Mm. And I know it was scary, but he had to do it. Right. Yeah. And he's still in trouble here. Oh, this is no piece of cake. No. And he knows it. First match of the day, playing a tough competitor. You want to stay on the right side of the balls. Right. It's so important. But when you hit him like that, it doesn't matter. It's important, too, to hit him like that. You got to hit him like that. <laughs> he had his good breakfast cereal today. Oh, yes. But he's still in trouble here. Yeah. You know. I would say, Rock, you need a duck here, but he might just go ahead and say, oh, I'm going to bank it cross side. He could do it. Right? He's looking at that side pocket, though, Pete. He's got options. He's yeah. got options. And a good part of shooting it in the side, if he catches the point, it'll bank yeah. up table. Right. That was just a little weak. He played a little two-way there, correct? Yeah, he did. Mm -hmm. But uh, he may have sold out the game. It, uh, how, do, how badly does Ernesto want this? That's what this yeah. key shot is right here. Absolutely. Does he want it or not? He wants it. Wow. And you see it? That's so why he, he stayed down. He so stayed the ball down. Stopped you have to stay down. Yes. This is you know who important. does that better than anyone? John Mora. I was going to say Mr. Smooth. He is down. He doesn't get up till next week. I mean, <laughs> come on, John. John Moore. Shout out to John. Very yeah, good player. Canada, we'll great player. I was at Derby City when he snapped off the bank tournament after the bank. He's from Canada. They yeah. don't even There's no Kentucky in Canada. <laughs> he made a new one. And that's going to pop this seven in, keep an angle on the eight. He's going to tie this game up. Yep. And that's the way it's been. Absolutely. Back and forth. At one point, we were we were uh, almost nine to six, and now it's going to be nine to nine. God willing. Absolutely. Both players made a you know couple of mistakes, but they both righted the ship. Yep. Yep. Good shot. There we go. It's nine nine race nine, to nine, two. Nine 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 nine. We have action, and look at that TPA. How close could you get? Wow. Eight sixty three for Ernesto guess. and 860 for Rodney. I mean, this is close. Nine to nine in the U.S. Open nine ball championships. Absolutely. Here at the Waterside Hotel. Absolutely. The Sheraton <laughs> Waterside Hotel in Norfolk, Virginia. We got action. If you like pool, you're going to get your fix this week. So oh. keep tuning in and we'll Absolutely. keep bringing you the greatest matches in the country. Absolutely. And here's where the breaks come in. Let's go, Nesto. See if you can figure it out. Yep. This is lap number nine. All right, he's going right for the center now. He's, wow. he's straightened right up. He wants to make sure three balls go past that yes, side pocket. Absolutely. And Rodney's paying attention because he don't want to do this again. No. All right, there's one. One ball went by. Illegal, there you but go. they just made it. Ooh, right. We. Geez, I feel like if you make three balls go go past, you should win the game. You know, that's the way I feel. <laughs> yeah, you got to hit them. But, you know, we haven't seen any of those young breakers up here yet. Oh. <laughs> you know, Shane Ramone can make four yeah. or five balls on a break. Yeah. Or Koyo, when he works on his break and gets it going the yes, same he way. Yeah, he, he, do it. he breaks them good. That was his Achilles heel for a while, but he worked on it. He right. is a strength now. Yeah. All right. Rocket contemplating this position here, Pete. Yep. Stuck on a rail. He has no choice but to go forward. And yes, he does. Watch out for that side pocket, Rodney. That's what he was thinking. Woof, woof, woof. He's still not out of danger here. No, Pete. no. This is no uh, picnic here. Here's John Kesey in the stands, a video of the month club member for years, big supporter. 
I think the Rock has to duck here. He can put the two on the Brunswick and put the cue ball up there by the 5-9 or go the opposite way. Well, he liked that. Mm-hmm. Because it wasn't, you know, dangerous, not a dangerous route. Right, and mm -hmm. I like that. I mean, you have to play uh, the odds. You got to play the percentages Correct. in this game. So with a two-rail kick here, if he if he kicks this one pocket style, cue ball goes back up table. Mm -hmm. He kicks it bigger style. He's, this is tough. I like him going past the seven-eight, right? right? He can stick it right there with the billiard Absolutely. shot. Absolutely, yeah. Well, mm -hmm. it was a good shot. There you go. Well, and he didn't uh, sell no. out to the farm. No. If Ronnie decides to be aggressive here, he still would have to play shape on that two ball if he plays a 2-7 uh, mm -hmm. combo, right? Mm -hmm. I think he's got to play safe here at the, the way it is. I don't know. Push the two up table. Thank you, Vaughn. Well, he didn't sell out either. He left no. the safe, but he, he can see a, a part of the ball, but right. uh, no pocket. Right. And I... He had a little more. He could roll him up and gin him on the eight. But if not, he's looking for the return angle. He wants to get that cue ball back up table, create some separation. Either way, it's going to be tough from here, Pete. Mm -hmm. But it separates the men from the boys right here. It's tough. Then the win. And he did cut it thin. Yes, he did. He left Rock at the ball, but... You know, nothing yeah. really offensive here. No. Unless you're John Brum back and bank it in the, the corner pocket. Yeah. <laughs> or Scott Frost. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Nicely done. Right. Just protecting himself. Right. You know, not jumping out the window. They both need to. So you have to be careful at this juncture in the game. Keep it simple when you can. Absolutely. Especially when there's a lot of pressure on you. Try yeah. to keep it simple. Yeah. That's where the mistakes are prone to happen. Mm -hmm. Good kick. What a kick by Ernesto. But it doesn't look like a good no. outcome. Right. The rocket has the ball. Again, this is uh, there's still a lot of work to do. Mm -hmm. <laughs> So is the Rock looking to run into that 5-7 or not? You want to avoid it, Pete? Or? I uh, I think he almost have to run into it. So you have to pick one, and if he miss hit, hits it, it's going to send a cue ball. I think he run into it just because it slows the, the cue ball up okay. for the 3 and holds it for the 3 anyway. Do but you run into the 7 or the 5? I like the 7. Okay. But he felt he didn't really have to. Now he's tree-topped. This is no easy shot. No. Yeah. That's what he says. <laughs> exactly. That he, was, and he knows that it. That gesture said it right there. <laughs> Absolutely. This shot shows your fundamentals. You have to bear down, and you just have to take what the table gives you. Mm -hmm. And just fire to the back of the hole like that, Pete. That was a beautiful <laughs> shot. I mean, when the with the pressure on, Absolutely. for him to come through with that over, oh. And he still has work to do. Yes. And oh, work man. Work he does. Oh, man. Looking for an angle. A little, A little short, short here. Yeah. But we've seen him cut this ball in and go back and forth before. Well, the look that he just gave on his face. Uh, <laughs> here I am again. So he's just going to slice this in, that means. I guess. Yes, I guess right. And he's I'm perfect. a good guesser. You are. <laughs> <laughs> I want to guess like you when I grow up. <laughs> Two rails. 
Rodney's Q action is so smooth. He gets it is. he gets the most out of that stroke. He does. Well done. That's I guess. He's going to the hill. Yes, he is. Yeah. <laughs> Very good. Rodney Morris That's on the right. hill. Ten games to nine. Wow. Look at the TPA. 863. And what does Ernesto have? 863. And that's the game. This is the kind of game it's been. Absolutely. And we're happy to bring it to you here. Absolutely. I am very honored to be sitting here in the booth with Pete Fleming. This is big fun here. Yes. Big fun. We're having fun. You know, I'm, I'm fighting for Hill Hill here. Oh, yes. <laughs> oh, I yes. want to see it. Oh, yes. I think Rodney was letting out a little steam uh -huh. with that with that joke at the end of that rack because oh. you know that was a tough rack he got through. Yeah, yep, you know. Yep. Yes, it was. What's up, Brian? And there's the uh, tournament director Carl Kantrowitz. All right, attending to his duties and the break by Rodney Morris. Rodney Morris says hello to Hawaiian Brian uh -huh. and breaks dry. Yeah. Chance for Ernesto here. Great overhead view of Ernesto. Right yes. There. Very, very nice. straight follow through. Yep. Now, this is one of those shots to where when you put the draw on it, you're right. you know, you're thinking about the, the pocket accepting or you have to hit this ball smooth. That's what I'm talking yes, about. You he were absolutely well. correct. Yes, he did. But it, the, the, this stuff, it's a tough shot. No. You know, the diamond provides the best product in the in the biz. Oh yeah. And you know, you have to play well. Yeah. Oh, mm. he hung it up. He hung it up. I, I, I didn't think he'd miss that one. Me neither. I didn't think he he thought. And if he missed it, I didn't think he'd sell it out. You know, right. I thought he'd overcut it, hit it on a professional side, right. something. Rodney well, just making sure he gets the angle, and here he goes. <laughs> Do you go through the 8-9 here, Pete? Uh, no, I try to just bounce right up, uh, right up on the, well, he did. He's got that stroke. He can do mm -hmm. that, you know. Mm -hmm. And I don't think he did it. No. He got stuck. That's, that's why I don't do it. That's okay, see, see that's, what, that's why I want to know. Because I couldn't do it. <laughs> well, Rock's going to have to come with one here. All right, he's going to kick. No, he's not. He made it. Wow. He had it. We wow. didn't think he had yeah. it. That's how good we play, and he that's act, how good he plays. He acted like he didn't have it. <laughs> wow. Put a little drama on it for Lord us. Lord have mercy. He's out. He's <laughs> out. <laughs> he can go right all the way. I don't know. You might put the commentator jinx on it, Pete. I could do it. If anybody can do it, I can do it. <laughs> even a great player, even a Hall of Famer, I could put the jinx on him in a heartbeat. On I don't. Th I think Rodney is saying, you know, I'm kind of jinx-proof right here. Yeah. Play these three balls, and I'm going to get out. Absolutely, and more power to him. Great to see him playing well. Right. He it's a great know. week for him. And uh, Ernesto had nothing to be ashamed of. He played a good match. Yes, he did. Good match against a tough player, and that's the way it is. That's it. But for all you people out there, the matches are available. Thanks for watching, but the Absolutely. matches are available at Accustats. 1 800 828 0397. Give Pat a call and he'll fill you in on everything. Absolutely. Ron, the best. Had a hey, great, great time. Really Pete, enjoyed I it. I enjoyed it. I enjoyed being we'll here. We'll do it with again. You. Yes, we will. All right. Say All right. goodbye to everybody. All right.